Eric, you and I, we can find a bit of flat ground, maybe here. You'll start again, honoring the challenge by choice. The space between your toes, that is yours and your partner's toes, will determine the level of challenge. This is particularly easy right from this space, but let's just start here anyway, because it's a good place to start. And with your hands up, palms facing forward, your plan is to only ever have touch with your partner in this place. I plan to only ever engage with Eric in this position. This is too easy. I don't even have to move in order to engage with him at this level. So if we just take a step back out. Now each of us is going to need to lean in a little bit. The again, keeping our hands as high as we can. The object is to be able to end up leaning, but we don't start from this position. We start from, if you can be fully standing up, our plan is to now lean in. Again, relatively simple. Come on back a little bit more. You'll notice that each time you go back, don't go back a long way because this becomes increasingly dynamic as I start to move towards him. So keeping it up, maybe with your elbows a little bit bent, we're now gonna lean towards each other. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'll try that again, because I, I fell forward then. You ready? Here we go. And try and, and then push each other back. Right, it's like a human spring. Just try that again, Eric, just from that position. Here we go. Okay, now recognizing the physics involved, both in terms of height, weight, strength, all those abilities, play, put that into play. You might find that to get to this level, ooh, too much, too much challenge, then determine what's gonna work for you in that situation. That's the object. That's we went through that process and that flow really quickly. Take your time, work with your partner, establish what's working. As you start to get an understanding of the dynamic of their weight, their shape, all that other stuff, you'll get a sense of how much further can we go back at a time. Take it back only in centimeters or inches at a time as you move forward. The object is to be able to catch each other, and then from that point, spring back into your position, hopefully keeping your feet in the same position. If they move, that's okay, just adjust accordingly. If you end up butting heads, you've probably gone too far too soon. So clearly understand that's what's happening uh, before it actually happens. So I think that's our limit, right? One, two, three. A variation. Sometimes, as we saw just there, you look at the gap, you think, whoa, that's going to be dynamic. You know, what's that going to be like when they come in? What happens if they miss? All that sort of stuff. Again, if you're taking time with your group to sensitively, you know, prepare them for that stuff, it's less likely to happen, but of course it still can. Then change it up a little bit. So John, you and I were partners, start from this position. Again, I'd missed mentioning earlier, try not to interlock fingers. If you need to lock, so I use open palm if necessary, but start from this position and then move your feet back. Get to a point where you feel pretty comfortable and you go, whoa. From here, the object is to spring enough that each of us pulls back and tries not to move their feet. So this takes out some of the risk of getting to this position, which is, you know, what happens anyway. So, John, are you happy to give that a go? Ready. All right, one, two, three. Oh, nicely played. All right, give that a go. Just find someone close to you now, starting from that position. Hi, right, Christina. Oh, if you can both get there without your feet moving, that's the ideal. 